Hello friends, welcome to webscript.info and in this video we are going to see how to send emails using PHP mailer library. Now we have PHP native mail function by which we can send emails and that's work fine that um, if we use native mail function then our recipient will receive the email but there is a lot of delay in sending and receiving the emails. It is not in time, it is not quicker but we have very amazing thing which is PHP mailer library we can use it and we can send emails we can see the client and server communication we can figure out if something wrong we can uh, get the proper message what's the actual actual reason uh, our uh, email is not sending so that's why um, we are using PHP mailer just type here type PHP mailer Now we are in the github page and uh, select the uh, branch select the most stable branch so that is 5.2 stable one click and this is one of the most stable branch up to now you can clone this uh, git repository if you are using git or git is installed in a system then you can use terminal or command prompt but now i'm going to show you in a more simplest way so just download zip file this whole library will be in this chip file here it's begin and it's completed show now copy it from here and uh, if you're using xamp just go inside your hdocs folder and if you're using ramp go inside triple w folder look for the directory i have created a directory which is php mailer create your and there is two files already index.php and send email.php i'm going to paste the zip file here and let's extract it sorry extract all and extract extraction completed finally so close it and php mailer we have zip file just delete the zip file and we have php mailer 5.2 stable coincide and just copy this one paste in your top directory done what happened okay there is something wrong this is the okay 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 yeah correct so we have a php mailer folder package Let's rename it. Just normal simple PHP mailer. Remove the stable and other things. Oh. Explorer and uh, your PHP mailer library inside docs and go inside now it's done let's close it open the text editor and you can see we have PHP mailer library and inside this library we have so many files but the the thing is we want this php mailer auto load.php file so this is we are going to require use it in our script and here we have lots of examples so the first example is uh, here you can see the gmail.phps the extension is dot phps that is not executable as a php file so you can see here we have uh, all these things and we required to send emails we are going to use our local host and gmail smtp so what you can do you can uh, take this whole file copy it and uh, after copying everything from here I have created a file uh, send email dot php that is uh, submit button name email subject message paste here 
That is from gmail.php as well. This is a save mail function. Remove it from here. And push out. Right. Okay. And give it a little implementation. Correct. Now let's read this. This is uh, very clearly. This example shows setting the user sending uh, via Google's Gmail server. Time abstraction. SMTP needs accurate times and the PHP time zone must be set. So we can use this function to set the time zone. So let it be as it is. And we we need this uh, PHP mailer autoload.php file which is available inside this folder. And here PHP mailer. So we are in the send email file here. So we don't need this uh, extra dot. Let's remove this. Now we, we added this file. Now it's done. Just go here. The debug SMTP debug output is two. There are some parameters. We can say zero. We can say one. We can we can say two. So right now it is two. What you will see, you will see the entire client and server communication details. What's going on exactly? If you keep it zero, then you will not see anything. So for in production, we will keep this zero. But right now it is fine. And uh, we are using SMTP gmail.com and uh, we are using TLS secure. This is a protocol is 587 don't change it auth2 so here you will have to provide your gmail uh, account account detail right your if you're using gmail your gmail account let's say for example for example sorry Keep it like this and your password your gmail password right and now here set from so you'll have to set the email uh, what you want to show to your recipient right it could be anything like this one after it xyz dot com and uh, here's the first and last name you can write anything one on and add reply to and say no reply or you can provide the reply anyway sorry and you can say here one one here you can say web script now if you are if you have any website you, know, you can write your website name as well and uh, who to send now the final thing is here so here we will paste our dollar email and name of the person we have everything right email name and we need subject we have subject and uh, Interesting thing is here message dot HTML message HTML. This method uh, will provide you the you can add your HTML file here. So you can write uh, your uh, you can design your HTML file and paste uh, keep your HTML file inside this directory PHP mailer and just provide the name here. Or you can remove this entire thing here. You can say here the doc type. Mail and then still so you can send a uh, HTML formatted email dollar message that's fine you can either keep your file or you can just like type like this and alt body so this is an external alternative message body you will see uh, when you will open your before opening the email right it's a little text 
absolutely sad subject here. And if you want, you can add attachments. But right now, we don't have any attachments. So send email, mail error. Uh, if there is any problem, you'll see the error info or mail error, and then message will be other message will be sent. And there are some codes are commented. I will let you know what is that. Save it. That's it. That's all. Fine. And uh, you can come in your index page and you can save it. Just remove this action from here. And you can say send underscore email dot php. Save. Save all. And uh, it's just fine. It's done. Copy the file path. Okay, it's already here. Refresh and it looks like everything fine. So let's try name J comma this is an email. Okay, I forgot to change the PL thing there, which I can't show you in my own credentials. And one more important thing if you're using a Gmail, then Gmail you'll have to do less secure because you're using local host. Right, so you will have to make your Gmail uh, for a while uh, less secured. Just Gmail less secure apps type here, and you can go allow or disallow less secure apps. Uh, go ahead and allow less secure apps. I think somewhere it is there. Okay, fine. So it's giving me a message like this setting is not available for accounts with two-step verification. So my account is uh, two-step verification, uh, required two-step verification. But I have another account, so I'm going to use that one, which is this one. And here you can see the options that allow less secure apps on. So you can on it or you can off it like this. So do it like this and provide that credentials in your script. So just close your eyes for a while I'm going to do that thing. It's done and let's refresh the page. Let's provide the name. Press email. It's my personal email subject. And this is a test email from Logos. Okay, let's send. Pass syntax error on line 10. And close your eyes once again. Oh, sorry. It's the uh, ampersand. Save it. Refresh and cancel it because I don't want to do hurry. So just send again. And uh, this file uh, require PHP mail auto load file to open the stream. No such file or directory. Okay. So okay, great. Uh, PHP mailer. Uh, this is the first directory. Then inside we have PHML auto load. This one. Now it is fine. Sorry for the mistake. No send. And it is processing. 
and uh, we have an error awesome so this is your client your client is telling talking to your gmail smtp and then your server is replying with localhost start tls raise a tls auth login and uh, smtp connect failed okay smtp connect failed authenticate username and password not accepted i think my credentials my username uh, my password was wrong earlier so let me try again and uh, let's do it once again okay it's now it's great so we have long communication between our client and server and finally we we have you can see the message is sent we can use our email uh, to see uh, sorry my account uh, email, email is here and you can see the message the well written message web script this is a test email from localhost the altern alter native body message here and then we have message body this is a test email from localhost it's working absolutely perfect now let's try once again deleted and uh, okay let's go back this is a test uh, other email from server sorry from browser sent and it's done message sent and the final email is here another email from browser oh what we can do another thing let's set it uh, zero we do not do not want to see the messages the client server communications normal message sent success and we have another same email twice so this is all about uh, sending email from your local server if you if you're using your uh, own website or if you're using if you want to send email from your own hosting then there is something called smtv.phps right you'll have to use this file and this is the same like 012 debug and html you'll have to provide your uh, smtp host it was uh, smtp.gmail.com um, but in your case based on your hosting it will be different your port will be different your uh, yeah, in, uh, make sure you have email accounts in your server use those email accounts and password set from add reply to address this is and the same rest of things same so if you like this video let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Thanks for watching.